still cold. I've been waiting for this all week. Couldn't wait to get my hands on one of these. God, I've missed you. You're such a dork. <laughs> no, I, I just feel like it's been such a long time since I've had a nice drink. I feel like with all the stress I've been under, I deserve it. Stress? Yeah, I've been under a little bit of stress lately. I mean, <laughs> I'm 18, and and the world is just is changing so fast, and I just feel like it's completely out of my control. Um, I'm going to have to start saving good money, uh, buying my own things. I just, I just feel like uh, I can't enjoy things like I used to as a kid, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, you never really opened up much about your past. I figured since we both have a little time, you could talk about it. I mean, it's... It's really nothing much, to be completely honest with you. I mean, I grew up in a poor home. Couldn't really do much. You know, my family always did their best to look out for me, but they always had their own thing going on. They never really included me in much. Uh, I guess that's why I'm so independent now. What about your mom? I thought you two had a great relationship. I mean, it was okay, yeah, but... I mean, then there were times it was just not so good. I mean, look, to be completely honest with you, my childhood wasn't always the best, but I can remember that if I ever needed to get away and have some fun, I could just go out into the backyard and play. I can still feel it, my backyard. It was so free, so wide open. I felt like I could accomplish anything at all when I was out there, whether it be playing with my football or riding on my bike. I've literally felt like I was king of the world. I felt like I had no worries. Now I feel like all I do is worry. <sighs> worry about my job, worry about my my mental health. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are times that are better than others, but for the most part, I just feel like the world can get the better of me. Sometimes I... I find myself wondering if it's even worth getting up in the morning. But then, I remember if I don't, I'll never find a better life for myself. I'm sorry, did I say something wrong? Oh, <laughs> no, you're fine. I just, I can relate to you when you talk about how different things are now compared to the past. But I mean, Things have to change because when things change, we continue to grow as people. Yeah, I guess I agree with that. I mean, what do you think? Do you think I've grown up to be a good person so far? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you remember the time we were in school and <laughs> I spilled the entire carton of milk all over myself? <laughs> uh, literally everyone was laughing. I felt like a complete idiot. But I remember as I was leaving the cafeteria, you were the only one in the entire crowd who was not laughing. I'm not sure why, but right then you stuck out to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I do remember that. I just, <laughs> I remember I caught you crying in the main office. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. Looking at, back at it, we were so young, but I guess I would have felt the same way to have everyone laughing at me like that. I wanted you to know that not everyone in this world is an asshole. <laughs> yeah, but most of them are. <laughs> I guess what I really want to say is that after all we've been through in our entire lives together, I'm thankful that I met you. And I'm thankful that we got to go on this crazy ride together. <laughs> I know it's so stupid getting all sentimental. It's probably just 
the boo is talking. But. I know we've had our fair share of ups and downs, but Katie, I just love you so much. And I just want to say thank you for everything. Here's to our future. <laughs>